Hi everyone. My name is Megan Fry. I would like to introduce y'all to a cool app called Visor. Not having the use of my voice because of cerebral palsy has been one of my biggest challenges. However, my life is full of possibilities because of technology. I use this computer called a Microsoft Surface with an eye gaze to communicate. There's a camera at the bottom that picks up my retina in my eye, and when I look at a button and blink, it clicks just like a computer mouse. Since the Surface is a regular window-based computer, there's a language software on this device that lets me talk like a regular person. Also, on this device, I can text, email, internet, art, and work at school. But a computer is limited on social media apps that are only available on a cell phone. So I purchased an Android phone because it works better with a Windows-based computer, versus an Apple product. The hiccup was how was I going to access the cell phone if I could not touch the screen with my fingers? The Visor app is a screen mirroring app. That means everything that is on your cell phone screen shows up in a window, on your computer. Basically if you can control your mouse on your computer, then the mouse acts like if you touch your phone with your finger. I love it. I feel like I can now be more a part of people's lives in ways I could not before. I can now use Snapchat, TikTok, Instagram, and even Tinder. This helps me feel more connected to the world. To use the Visor app, you have to download the app onto your computer and separately onto your Android phone. One little extra step. For security reasons, you have to give your Android phone permission to connect to your computer. This is done via a backdoor switch on the phone. It's called debugging. Debugging is a term mainly used on the development side of cell phones. It is a typically used by cell phone engineers as a backdoor for gaining access to the operating system on the phone. This is a place on a cell phone to receive commands that users don't need to have access to. This means there isn't a regular button to engage this action. I simply googled, how to access debugging on my Android phone. I am going to put the website link down below that has a video that shows the steps of debugging your phone. I really hope this helps. Remember to subscribe to my channel. I will see you in my next video.